What's going on guys? Sid here with some uh, uh, library book sale and what are these? I think these rest of these are thrift store pickups. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rest of these are thrift store pickups. So we got a thrift store haul and a library book sale haul. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get right into it. Um, here recently from uh, July 10th to the 20th, the library was having the, uh, their sack sale. I love saying that. Um, but I missed that, but I still went ahead and went up there because they run their book sale every day all year long um, just to see if they had anything, and I found some stuff. Um, because they're not running the sale, everything is uh, hard covers are 50 cents a piece, uh, and soft covers are a quarter. And I also got some magazines, and that's pretty cool because all their magazines are free. So pretty sweet. So we'll get right into it. Uh, first book I picked up, I knew I had a book plate for this. Uh, this is A Whole New Mind by uh, Daniel H. Pink. Uh, give me just a second, guys. I'll grab my scissors because I'm going to put in this book plate right here. I sent him an e email a while back and picked up this book plate. This is for uh, one of his other books called Drive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that part off. This is one of his official book plates. And yeah, it doesn't look the best, but it'll work. So we'll go ahead and we'll. You are now about to witness a live book plating of a book. Okay. Take this book plate and we'll put it in. I'm going to put it in right there. So there we go. Pretty sweet. So now I have a book plated book for my collection very very cool so there's that so that was a cord and I picked this up I already have this um, this is pretty well shot to shit um, but it's a great book they're getting to be hard to find this is Stephen King's Cycle of the Werewolf this has got artwork by the great Bernie Wrightson um, if anybody wants this I'd be willing to sell it to them uh, it does have some color pictures apparently it's got some writing but I'd be willing to sell or trade it. Color piece of art there. If anybody just wants to read it, it's a great story. It's uh, the basis for the film Silver Bullet, which was when I saw it, I was scared shitless. And another great color piece. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Just great artwork. Um, but if anybody's interested, I'd probably do like. $3 shift or something like that on here. Just because I like to pass it on to anybody that wants it. Um, let's see. And I got this paperback book. This is the first edition from 1967. This is Doctor Who uh, in, in an exciting adventure with the Daleks. This came out pretty much when Doctor Who was just coming out. So I've got this on eBay right now. My um, wife is actually in the process of picking up something for me, so I gotta make sure. Uh, okay, something unrelated. But if everything goes well, I got some awesome stuff coming that I did a little barter for. So I'll make another video of that later. Um, but I got this. This is uh, from Ace Books. This is The Man from Uncle Number Four, The Dagger Affair. Um, based on the television series starring Robert Vaughn. Pretty cool. Then I got a bunch of these. Uh, these are American Artist Magazine. These are from, uh, majority are from 2011. There's some from 2010 and a couple from 2012. And also, February 2012 issue of Rolling Stone. Um, 
So these, I was really happy to find these artist magazines. I'm going to have a lot of fun looking at those and, and getting ideas. But like I said, these are free. Magazines are free. So can't beat that. I uh, also picked up two of these. Uh, unfortunately, my library has a habit of a lot of their books that they do discards on. Uh, they cut them up. So I'm not too, too happy with that, but that's just how they do things. Um, but I have two copies of this. I am going to keep one. Uh, this is Will Eisner's Comics and Sequential Art. Um, but I am going to keep one of these for my own personal collection. But if anybody wants a copy, um, cover price was originally $22.99. Uh, I don't know, I'd probably do other than that little bit on the cover, it's in real good shape. So, I don't know, I'd probably do like eight bucks shipped or something like that if anybody's interested in my comic loving friends. Just let me know. Um, this book is really awesome. Those are a quarter piece I paid. This book's really awesome. Robert Lawson illustrator, a selection of his characteristic illustrations. Um, I found a bunch of Robert Lawson illustrated books from the very library book sale that I got this book from. I'm really happy to pick this up. Um, love his artwork. Does some great stuff. So I'm real, real happy to find this book. Great artwork in there. So real, real happy with that. That was 50 cents. And I got this. This was a quarter. 2010 comic book checklist and price guide. So super happy to get this. Um, got this one. This is The Morning the Sun Refused to Rise, an original Paul Bunyan tale by Glenn Rounds. Nice children's book, and it is signed right there. The Black Sharpie. So very, very sweet. Very happy to find that signed book. Uh, I got this one specifically to put on eBay. This is Cars and Profile. Really nice book on cars. Uh, a lot of old race cars are in here. And some nice color plates. And, yep, this is a uh, printed in the UK book. Um, in Europe, they really make some nice books. Uh, and this is um, also one of those. This is no exception. Really, really great stuff in here. Really nice vintage race cars. Uh, this is the first book in the series. It came out in 74. So we'll see what that does on eBay. And then I found another signed children's book. This is The Butterfly King. And Larry Stevenson, and it is signed right there and dated. Um, some real nice artwork in here. I'll read this to my daughter later. So I think I paid, yep, yeah, it's $375 for all that. So can't beat that. Another thrift store I went to um, this past weekend when I went on Saturday, they were having uh, in that town, it's a little spot festival special event deal they call crazy days and a lot of vendors and stores have sales and stuff sidewalk sales and whatnot and like every thrift store I went in books were 10 cents so this book was 10 cents as you can see it's got the autographed copy sticker on it um, it's an ex-library book this is Independence Avenue by Eileen Bluestone Sherman and it is signed right up there um, she's written a number of books as well as television. That w well, she's written a number of, book of books that have been adapted into television shows, uh, television movies. So that's sweet. Awesome autograph book for 10 cents. Um, another thrift store I went into, I picked up these. Uh, I found another Charlie Shade autograph book. Um, 
Actually, another copy of this very same book. I've been finding Charlie's shit autographed books a lot recently. I don't know why, but again, this is Remember I Love You, Martha's Story. Signed and inscribed right there. This is up on eBay right now. Because I definitely don't need two of these, but... Um, he died in 2004, but he wrote 35, over 35 best-selling books. So very cool. Um, this, these weren't on sale. Well, it was half off day. That was a special sale, so I paid 50 cents for that. I uh, got some magazines, Entertainment Weeklies. Got uh, the Dexter issue from June 14th, 2013. Uh, what up, Amanda Panda? I got that. Uh, they did charge me a quarter for that. And then I got, look at those in a minute. I got, uh, let's see, this is the June 28th issue, 2013. And then I got two of the three collector's covers for uh, the July 26th, 2013 issue of Entertainment Weekly, The Walking Dead. Um, this is cover number three with Andrew Lincoln. And cover number two with Norman Reedus. So I'll cover e or quarter each for those. And this book is awesome. Found another Eric Sloan book. You guys know how much I love Eric Sloan. This is the Little Red Schoolhouse. I did not have this one. Again, love his art. Just amazing pen and ink work. Super, super happy to find this. And uh, this cover price of buck. Sticker price was a dollar. I paid 50 cents. So awesome. Um, then earlier in the week, I went to a thrift store. Got this stuff here. Got this signed cassette from Jim Young. This is the Legend of Crazy Horse. Uh, it's country and western music there. It's signed. Paid a quarter. Paid a quarter for this. This is a great find. This is a child called It by Dave Peltzer. Uh, New York Times bestseller. It is signed right there. My best, Dave Peltzer. Paid a quarter for that. Awesome deal. I uh, got this book by Daryl Bain. This is Post War Dinosaur Blues. Uh, that is signed as well. Black Ballpoint. Quarter for that. Uh, Pick this up. This is a graphic novel. This is Amulet. Book one, The Stone Keeper. That's pretty cool. In my comic collection. Pick this up. I thought this might be worth something, but it's not. This is a Game Boy camera. Uh, I paid a dollar for that, and that's about what they're going for on eBay. So I don't know if anybody wants that. Let me know. I'll probably do like a couple dollars shipped or something on that if anybody needs that. And then I got these three. Let me set the camera down. These three Lego instruction books. Uh, these actually sell for pretty good money on eBay. Um, they're all from Lego City. So I've got those. Those are a quarter apiece. And we're looking here. Stopped in the local antique mall. Picked up a couple things while my car was getting repaired. I uh, got a couple issues of Plop Comics. This is number seven. Some great Basil Wolverton front and back covers. And uh, this is number 14. Love reading these. Good, good stuff. And I got this. This is My Life on a Napkin by Rick Majerus. Majerus, I'm not sure how you say it. I, Recently deceased, uh, he was, I believe, recently deceased. Uh, he was the cover coach of uh, Utah men's basketball. He was also an assistant uh, for the uh, second USA basketball team. It is signed right there to Sam, a good coach and loving father. Go Utes, your friend, Rick Majerus. Majerus, I guess I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, been the University of Utah head coach since 89. Like I said, assistant to USA's Dream Team 2. So, some great photographs in there. Oh, very cool. I paid $5 for that. 
and two dollars a piece on the comics. Alright, then another thrift store I went into. Uh, again, it's part of the Crazy Days deal. All books for ten cents. Found this. This is Jesse James, my father, written by Jesse James Jr. This is a 1988 reprint of the original copy, which was printed in 1899. I thought that was pretty cool. Should, should be a fun read. I'll put that on eBay. Got this, Joke Wars, May the Farce Be With You. It's a little independently published some joke book. Got uh, Barbie's Adventures to Read Aloud. And this is from 1964. It's illustrated. Never seen this before. So I thought I'd pick this up for my daughter. Probably eventually go on eBay. I uh, got this here, 50 Years National Baseball Congress Tournament. This came out in 1984. Pick that up. Interesting uh, baseball book here. And we got, got a sign book, which is very cool. This is American Song by Paul Engel. Uh, it's got a newspaper article here, and then it's signed right there and dated 1968. It's a book of his poetry. It's got some other news articles or something in here. I haven't gone through everything yet. So, very famous poet laureate. This is from 1934. I think this is his second book. Um, very cool to find sign in, in only 10 cents. Very awesome. Got a couple horse books I thought I'd throw on eBay. And those are those. Got a, those are 10 cents a piece, this is 10 cents as well. This is a One in a Billion children's book signed by one of the authors. Best wishes, Michael McGuffey. Some pretty cool artwork there. Uh, we got The History of Torture by Daniel Mannix. It says eight pages of illustrations, but they're not in here, so I guess somebody tore them out or something. But still should be an interesting book. This came out in 66. Uh, I got Stephen King's Don Macabre. Can't remember if I had this or not. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it for 10 cents. I got some interesting drawing books. These are fashion illustration techniques. This is a workbook here. It's got some drawing paper and whatnot. This is all for fashion illustrating. Uh, this is workbook three, drawing the garment. The other one's drawing the head. And then I got this book, a complete guide to fashion illustration. Um, my little one, my seven-year-old daughter Ayla, she's kind of been doing a lot of this kind of stuff lately. So I thought this was perfect. Me and her could sit down and draw up some fashion designs and whatnot. Again, ten cents. This book was ten cents, and so were these, ten cents a piece. Also got a bunch of picture frames for some autographed photos, ten cents a piece. Yet a whole shopping cart full. It was pretty cool. Oh, here's the other workbook. Here's workbook number four, Rendering Fabrics and Textures. She didn't have the first one. So I got all she had. This was pretty cool. Um, she had $10 on it, but everything else in the store was half price, so I paid five. This is the Complete New Yorker. Comes with the book here. And it also comes with eight DVD ROMs for your computer. All eight are here. So it basically it's the New Yorker from 1937 to 2005. All the best. Um, cover price for this, you can see that was a hundred bucks. So I do have this, well I don't have it on eBay yet. I'm not selling too well on eBay. I was kind of disappointed and shocked. but. 
I've got it on the local buy and sell groups for 40 bucks. Um, so still pretty cool pickup for five bucks. So that's it, guys. That's that's everything I think. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of those items I talked about, like the camera here, or the cycle of the werewolf, or the uh, Will Eisner comics and sequential art. Um, just let me know if you're interested in any of those. Um, or or this. I have it on eBay, but if you're interested in buying it, Charlie Shit autograph book. But some interesting stuff I picked up. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. Uh, got another video here probably in the next couple days of some pickups my wife's out getting me right now. Um, did a pretty awesome barter for them. So no money involved. That's it for me guys. Thank you for watching. Later.